Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the program. Today, we are going to work on the shell in Serenity. Uh, and we're going to implement a little thing that I've been dreaming about. So uh, something that I often do if I'm messing around with performance work is that to get a quick and dirty idea of how long something takes, uh, I use the time command in the shell. And of course, when time finishes, it just prints out how long the command took. And then I do it a couple of times. Uh, first time to discard sort of the, um, the cold, um, like cold run, when things are not cached, and then run it a couple of times again to get a um, kind of an average value of how long it takes. But I always sit here and just eyeball these numbers and think like, oh, well, you know, somewhere in that range. And uh, wouldn't it be nicer if I could say like time dash n5 or something like that. Uh, and then it would run it five times for me uh, and tell me exactly what the average runtime was. Maybe even discard the first cold run. Uh, that would be pretty cool. So that's what we're going to build today. Um, and um, I have not worked on the shell in forever. So there's going to be a little bit of uh, orienting ourselves here. Um, where does time live? Built in time. Okay. Um, that's probably what we're looking for. So, okay, built in CPP, sure. So uh, time is a shell built in, um, which means that it's not a separate binary. But that doesn't change anything for us, we can still, uh, it still looks like, um, like notice here that it looks like a main function from any other program, just that it executes inside of the shell, right? So we can still do arguments parsing and stuff like that. So um, I guess what we'll do here is we'll add an option. Uh, and it will be a an int. So we'll call that. Um, oh, what do we call that? Like, uh, number of iterations, let's say. And we'll set minus one by default. Number of iterations. Uh, oh, that's the long name. Oh, 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 number of iterations. Short name can be n. And the value name is going to be iterations. Sure. And then if we have this thing, um, let's see how this works. Okay, so help or not help time will parse. Uh, that's the Rx parser. Okay, fine. And then it creates a shell AST command. Okay. Um, from the argument vector, and then it will expand any aliases. Sure. And then okay, so here's where the timing happens. Um, we start a core elapsed timer, iterate through uh oh wait we call it run commands which creates a bunch of jobs and then we block on the jobs and then exit okay so this here uh let's see so this stuff right here is our um our single uh iteration so let's see um So actually, maybe we should say that the default number of iterations is one. And then we can simply um, do this. Okay, so let's see how that goes if we just do that. Um, then we should run the, oh wait, shoot. Exit code. Hmm, should we stop if we get it? bad exit. If one of the runs return an error code, should we stop? I don't think we should. Um, interesting. So I guess, yeah, we'll just do this. So the exit code will be the exit code from the last invocation of the command. So 
So time ID works fine. Time and three ID. Cool. Okay, so now we have three of them. Uh, and oh yeah, and of course our args parser takes care of uh, allowing you to specify with or without the space, which is very nice. Um, and how does the help look? Okay, all right. The the automatically generated help screen from Arts Parser um, is a little bit weirdly aligned, um, but that's not what we're here to work on today. So, okay, so that looks promising, right? We can do as many runs as we like. And then what we need to do next is, um, let's see, I guess if we're running more than one iteration, let's not print out uh, after each one. So let's say that um, if number of iterations is not one, if it is one rather, then we can print it out here. Otherwise, let's see, let's, col let's collect these actually. So uh, we'll collect the number of milliseconds. I think that's what we get from here, right? Yeah, milliseconds. So um, timings, or rather, timings per uh, iteration. Okay. Iteration times. Okay, and then we do iteration times append um, timer elapsed. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This is better. And then we just print it out here at the end. So, um, so let's see. What do we want to do? So, if number of iterations is one, then we print out in this old format. Sure. Um, so that's iteration times at or just first, actually. And if number of iterations is zero, I guess we should just um, bail out here, actually. So if um, number of iterations less than one, return one, let's say. Yeah. Because we don't need to handle those cases, right? Okay, so time for some basic math. My not my favorite thing, but should be able to handle this. Um, so let's compute the total time, which will be um, total time plus equals time. And you know what? Let's let's do this. Okay, so we have the total time in milliseconds, and then we want to uh, get an average on that, I guess. So that's the total time divided by the iteration times size. All right, we are getting through the basics here. Okay, so average time. Okay, let's see how that goes. Oh, almost. Okay. That is really neat. Um, and of course, the first time the number here was tainted by um, that initial cold one. So let's see what we can do about that. Um, number of iterations. Uh, let's see. The cold one is, I don't know, like it feels weird to have a command 
where you say like do this five times and then it would do it six times um but i guess we could present like a little more info here so like average time is this uh, and then like excluding the first run it would have been this other thing so let's see so average time um Excluding first. Let's print out something nice here like timing. Timing report four. <laughs> uh, or no, we can just say like this. Yes, yes, yes. This will be a little cute. Timing report. Oh, look at that. Do we want to go all the way and do this stuff? Um, it's a little bit cool. Reminds me of um, like old batch files and and DOS. Um, okay, so uh, we need to figure out um, the average without the first one. So I guess the way we can do that is. Um, Compute the average one, and then we can compute the average without first separately. Yeah, there, I mean, this is not performance sensitive stuff, so it doesn't matter. Um, but let's see. Iteration times. So we iterate from the, from the second entry um, to the end. OK. And then total time, this is the total time excluding the first. So total time excluding first. Also, this ms suffix was maybe, I didn't need that actually. I didn't need that. Should really um, bake that into the type instead of the name, but it doesn't matter here. Average excluding first. Yes, and then we should actually only do this if, um, or we know the number of iterations is not one, it's greater than one. Um, so that's fine. Just checking that we don't get a divide by zero here. Average excluding first. And then that's iteration times i. Wait, do I have? Oh, right there. And look at that. This is pretty cool. So the precision on these outputs is seems to be fixed. I guess that's just because I'm using the default formatter for floats. Um, but this is very cool. I like it. Although this it doesn't add up here. Something doesn't look right. Um, right, I have to <laughs> put parentheses there. They were too far apart. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool. So, unless I made some boneheaded mistake here, this does seem reasonable. Yeah, yeah. I was just waiting, waiting to get one where 
um, we would get a, a higher number in excluding first. And we finally did. OK. Um, so super cool. And then maybe we should print out the command here as well. Timing report for. Um, For the command, do we put that here? Warn line, command, and how do we serialize the command? We have commands, uh, which is expand aliases. It's a vector of asked commands. Um, hmm. I guess I really just need to just print them out one by one. So oh, I wonder if I can use vector. Um, can I do this? Args. Does that work? What is args? Let's try it out. I feel like somebody added um, vector formatting. Let's see what it does. Oh, <laughs> well, that's not exactly what I had in mind for um, how this should look. So fine, let's do it by hand. So we'll just warn um, that way and then warn, um, make an empty one to get a new line and then warn for each one. So. Um, String. I don't know. Let's see. For string. What am I doing? For arc string in arcs. Okay. And a space. Okay. All right. So there are, you know, all kinds of other things that we could throw at this, like, um, oh, what's it called? Like the, I don't remember the terminology, like the confidence intervals or whatever, or the, um, uh, I am so, so far away from statistics at this moment. Um, but yeah, so there are a bunch of other things we could show. We could also show the um, individual run timings uh, and stuff like that. But it seems to me that just as a basic um, basic thing, this is already super cool. So what if I'm root and I try to do this 10 times? So neat. And let me do ID 100 times. Oh, shoot. I can't ID slash. That's not a username. Hmm. It's interesting. It takes um, about 10 milliseconds or less than 10 milliseconds to run ID. But um, this is definitely longer than a second to do this. So. Seems like we have a bunch of overhead here. Um, not what we're here to look into, but anyway. Um, I think I think this is basically what I wanted to achieve today. So time, like the regular version of time, still works as before. It's just as now now time has a magical uh, dash n where you can specify the number of iterations, and then if you do more than one, then you get this cool timing report. Very, very cool. Yeah. So I guess if you wanted to, you could also make this thing um, optionally spit out some like um, more programmatically consumable format like JSON. But for now, this is precisely the tool that I want to use. So that's what we've built. So let's do a commit here. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm good with it in the shape that it's in. So shell add, um, let's see, dash n option. Let's say um, support time and iterations. Um, ba -ba -bum. You can now specify a number of iterations when timing a command. Uh, the default is one, and the default value is one, and behaves exactly as before. Um, if the iteration count is greater than one, um, the command will be executed that many times. And then you get a little timing report afterwards with uh, the average runtime uh, and also the average runtime um, or iteration and also the average runtime excluding the very first iteration um, excluding the first iteration is useful when um, it's slowed down by cold ashes, etc. Yeah. Um, this is something I've been doing <laughs> manually forever, running time foo. And then eyeballing uh, the results to uh, head math and average and this makes that whole process so much nicer yeah so i think that's pretty cool and now we really got back to the roots here <laughs> of uh, of what serenity is about um like about taking things that we know and understand and love and then just uh, tweaking them a little bit to make them nicer. That is just so neat. Also, by the way, if you watched my video about um, optimizing find slash performance, you might recall that um, our times back then were uh, a lot worse than they are now. Uh, and it's gotten a lot faster since then because we were up in the 600s or 700s of milliseconds. It started out at, at about a second when I started the video, but then we got down to like 600 something. And now we are even below 100 milliseconds per iteration of find slash. And that is uh, thanks to the work of Sergey, who came in and optimized the find program itself. So I spent a bunch of time optimizing what the kernel was doing um, while find was running. And then Sergey came and optimized find itself to make it run a bunch faster. So um, with our combined forces, we are now below 100 milliseconds to traverse the entire file system. Very, very cool. So thank you, Sergey, for working on that. Anyway, I think this is going to be it for today's video. So um, I hope that you found something interesting here. I think I'm really, really happy with this, actually, and I will definitely be using it going forward. Um, my only concern is that I didn't put enough of these. <laughs> but I think maybe that's okay. I don't know. It's tempting to just put some more of them so that it would at least line up with this guy right here. But I think I'm just going to ignore it for now and then let it irritate me maybe later and then change it then. So thank you very much for checking out this video. Um, and I will see you next time.